How's it? IndianCowboy.Sports.com coming at you on Wednesday as we get this video to you around this time. Have your free pick winner in just a second here. Kind of got the scruff going on here and uh, yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, we'll see. We'll try to do a beard for a little bit and then I'll probably shave it off. But uh, hope you guys are doing well. Man. Hopefully we can get you a nice free pick winner for you today. Uh, we are on a, we didn't have a great video yesterday actually, um, so hopefully we'll have a nice free pick winner for you today. Your video today is going to be between Washington, Atlanta in the NBA. We're also going to talk to you about the Spurs and the Nets as well. 4-2, 10-5, 141-112, 293, 221, 13-74, 10-23 free pick run. Hopefully we'll post you a nice free pick winner today. Uh, nice seven unit winner NBA in the NBA yesterday. We gave you the Minnesota Timberwolves and they got it done over the Detroit Pistons pretty easily uh, as well. And that was a nice seven unit winner on Tuesday. Nice seven unit winner on Monday as well. Uh, we gave you the Blazers and the Rockets over the total and that was a 30 point winner. Six unit NBA selection today. Uh, so hopefully we'll hit that. On Sunday we also had the four unit on the Miami Heat getting it done too. So three straight winners in the NBA try to make it four in a row today we don't try to get too high or too low as it relates to the baseball we have a four unit selection today between the blue jays and the braves we missed our baseball yesterday soccer i think we missed our soccer yesterday as well so hopefully we'll try to bounce back and try to hit a nice soccer selection there uh we have won uh four straight years in baseball so hopefully we'll win for our fifth straight year in baseball uh six of seven winning years in the nba playoffs as we approach the nba playoffs wnba of course is the big thing which is just two days away uh can't be more excited about it we've won four straight years in the wnba we'll try to make it five straight years here uh korean baseball still a winning season so far so hopefully we'll be able to post a nice winning season uh, we missed it last night hopefully we'll be able to post a nice winning season uh, in korean baseball this year as well and of course ufc is this weekend and we also have the horses as well so pretty excited as it relates to baseball nba six unit horses nhl which has been a phenomenal season for us plus 8800 so far uh we have gone 77 38 over our last uh you know 87 97 107 117 over our last 115 selections uh plus 86 40 so pretty excited excited about our two unit selection as well so plus 12,000 uh, nhl run as well so looking forward to all of that jazz all right let's get to your free play winner today uh, for your free play winner today let's go with um the under between the wizards and the hawks today uh let's see here let me try to get you a current line on this game right now but we'll go with the under between the wizards and the hawks their current line, uh, it's actually jumped pretty high, but we'll go with the under 238 and a half. I know these two teams went uh, over last time they played each other, which is just one day ago. And Atlanta won by one. Final was 125 to 124. I know it sounds crazy, but I like the under here. Uh, Washington has revenge from just losing hard, uh, from just losing to this team uh, recently. And uh, they've been one of the hottest teams in the league. And uh, they were like an eight-point underdog heading in Atlanta because Bradley Beal wasn't playing and they still managed to cover uh, they didn't win, though. The public is on Washington, of course, because they just lost by one point. They're one of the hottest teams in the league right now. They continue to cover every single game, it seems, um, because they've been a covering machine. But Atlanta has also lost back-to-back -back covers as well. So the line is fair. It's come down from eight to about six and a half. Um, you know, this game kind of reminds me of when Atlanta faced Portland. And Atlanta beat them 123 to 114. So I can see this game going below 240. Um, because I see this game as a mirror of the Portland game in a lot of ways. Portland just scored 50 points in the first quarter in their last game against Houston, mind you. And Atlanta held Milwaukee to 104 points. So, and Washington will have to play better defense in this kind of home and home in general, as I think both teams make defensive adjustments. And remember, Atlanta gave up 45 points in the last quarter between these two teams. And I think that itself can motivate them to play much better defense on the first quarter of this game. Nate McMillan said that 45 points in that last quarter was terrible and that his team needs to do much, much better than that. Um, I know the game went over the 236 and a half last time, um, up to 249 points, but I think this one actually goes under the posted total at under 238 and a half between the Wizards and the Hawks today. For the Stars, the Spurs and the Nets are concerned today. Take a look at the over in that game. Take a look at, um, you know, obviously Kyrie took a shot to the face as Vujovic was coming, going for a rebound. If you want to check out a YouTube replay, you can. He, let, he really clobbered him on his face, man. So hopefully Kyrie will feel a little bit better today. It sucks. Um, that uh, Kyrie got hit there, but he'll be back. But the, it's crazy that the Spurs are just only a three or four point dog here, uh, but they need this game in every way, right? Uh, this top 10 teams going into the playoffs is something that I'm actually a big fan of. 
Uh, it makes the six teams that do get in the playoffs worthwhile to get into the top six. You don't have to play a playing game. But it also helps the last... Um, it's not just this ninth or 10th team that it benefits. It really benefits 12 teams, doesn't it? Because what ends up happening is they're obviously on both sides of the Eastern and Western Conference. So 24 teams are benefited. So like a team like the Chicago Bulls, they're in 11th place and they're still trying to get it to the top 10. Um, it really allows for better basketball in the NBA, less tanking in general, which is kind of nice. So you know, keep in mind that the Spurs team just dropped 140 points in the Bucks. And they routed them 146 to 125 in a must-win situation. Uh, Brooklyn just beat this team in overtime, uh, 124 to 113, mind you. Uh, and they covered a similar four-point spread. So they just beat the Spurs recently. And that game went over the 233.5. Brooklyn has covered back-to-back games, of course. And they could be no Kyrie in this game. There actually could be no Durant as well because he's on a back-to-back. Uh, he's already played a back-to-back and he's looking to play three in a row. At the same time, James Harden could be back from his hamstring injury as well. So there's a lot of moving parts here. And at the same time, I think the Spurs could be a great active dog today. Um, after scoring 140 points to the Bucks. I think they can continue to score really well today. And I wouldn't be surprised if they score really well and are an active dog. And especially if Kyrie doesn't play, I can see the Nets scoring a lot too. Because the ball is not going to stick somewhere and it's going to flow well. Remember, the Nets had eight guys in double figures last game. So that really goes to show how well that they can move the ball and how much scoring options they have as well. But that's what we have for you guys. Remember, six unit NBA tonight at about 10.30, 10.15. As we try for four straight NBA winners, we can get hot pretty fast. So we'll see what happens. Hope you guys are doing great. Please take a moment and like and subscribe to the YouTube videos. As always, it is a pleasure to be with you every single day. And uh, I know when the WBA season uh, kicks back up, we'll try to have a, uh, an extra lean there for you as well. As we always try to give you as much content as we can every single day on this video. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day.